What's up, YouTube? Uh, guys, I want to show you a little something today. Um, I uh, One of the tools I've always loved uh, for customizing stuff is an airbrush. Um, I saw a really awesome mural when I was younger, and it kind of put that uh, whole thing in my head. Um, I've been artistic my whole life, so I, you know, it was an easy uh, transition for me. Uh, it took some years to learn, that's for sure. I've been doing it for 20-something years since 1994 three, four, uh, is when I bought my first airbrush, um, but anyways, I wanted to do a, a painting today, and I wanted to show you a quick little thing that I do, um, to get started, if you airbrush at all, you'll understand this, and if not, um, if you have any questions, let me know, I'd be glad to help anybody out, because I really love this, um, the dog's chewing his chew toy down there, I don't know if you can hear it, but apologize for that. Um, anyway, I wanted to paint Harley Quinn. She's always been one of my favorite uh, characters. I always thought she was crazy psycho, and, and I love that. So um, what I did is I found a cool uh, picture, stencil, um, one color. And what I do is I print it out about six times, seven times, so I have a bunch of the same image. And then I go through and I start cutting out sections of it um, for layers, basically. Um, and I start with the very first uh, layer. Um, let me see here, I got, uh, basically this is the, with the cutout. Um, I always put some notes on it too, real quick, uh, you know, mist white, fade blue, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this is what I cut out of it. Um, and then I, uh, you know, take them one by one, each layer, and I start picturing myself, um, painting it and building it back up with layers. So, flesh tones, um, <clears throat> Um, yellows and golds, and then, I'm sorry, this one's flesh tones, um, red, um, shadows, this one's the one that uh, really takes some time, you gotta cut a ton of stuff out of it, but that's the one where it really makes it pop uh, in the end, and um, I'll show you a little bit at a time as I do it, uh, I just wanted to show you this part real quick, this is the part that sucks, it takes a little time and nobody wants to do. Um, but it makes your paintings look so, so awesome. So, um, hopefully, uh, you check out the next video and see the progress. Thanks. All right, excuse the mess, but there's the white. And then I threw the black back up there for the, uh, other parts of the silhouette to come out. And, um, so now I can start laying opaque colors of red and blue and purples and whatnot on top of it. All right. <clears throat> All right, so there's a couple of layers. You can kind of see it to come together a little bit. Um, obviously, now you go in and you start to uh, fine-tune it with little shadows, little highlights, and, uh, you know, do your thing. I'm going to go back through with some black in a minute and kind of cover some of the purple. I didn't want to cover it all, just some of it. Um, so, uh, but, yeah, that's it. That's a couple of layers here. You can kind of see better now. That was my shadow layer. Um, my positive layer where I threw black, uh, my red layer, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, one way to do it, so, cool. <clears throat> Alright, guys, a little more, uh, shadows, um, still ain't got the face done yet, but you'll see it shortly, uh, I'm gonna finish up the hair and the face, um, a couple more details here and there, uh, I don't know if anybody else hates white, but I hate white, it's hard to spray, it never looks right, but, um, we'll get to it in a minute, make them eyes look pretty good, and you'll see a uh, hell of a difference, but it's getting there. So, um, yeah, check it out. <clears throat> Alright guys, I think I'm going to call that done. Um, got some highlights in there, some shadows. Um, kind of happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think. Good morning, YouTube. Uh, different day, different hairstyle, looking a little rough, need more coffee. Um... But anyways, I just wanted to end the Harley Quinn video and uh, let you guys know that I really only had about two, three hours in a total, um, even with printing and, and cutting out the stencils. Um, so it, it really didn't take long. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's I'm happy with it. It's a quick painting. Um, you can fine-tune a painting forever. You can go back to it a million times and, and touch up this and highlight that and, and whatever, add a background, um, whatever you want to do. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you the gist of how you cut layers and put a painting back together um even with just a printer and an exacto knife um i know i didn't really show the actual spraying but if you guys are playing with an airbrush you already know how to spray um but uh hopefully you liked it 
um, subscribe, share uh, at the bottom, like it, um, whatever you got to do. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.